Hello everybody, it's Kylie! Today, I'm gonna put some hair extensions in my hair all by myself. So, I have everything laid out in front of me right now, and I hope it's enough. I think it's enough. This is some of it. BP Fashion sent me this hair. Like, pretend you can't hear me. I don't care if you can I actually can. hear me. I can't. I'm putting on my headphones. Okay. I'm listening to music. Okay. I just need to think you can't hear I me. I can't hear you. Okay. I should put on deodorant. Alright, VP Fashion sent me these hair extensions. What they actually sent me was some brown ones and some blonde ones. VP Fashion's brand new product that they have just released. Uh, they have never been created before and they're really, really, really genius. The Skin Weft Tapins. So these ones are very discreet. They don't have a little band on them. Where are the others? And VB Fashion sent me some masks. So thank you. The Ava. Here is the new one that is invisible. And then this one is the one that has the band. This is the old one. They are still selling this one. Um, I think this one is just a more expensive option. So it's nice that you have that option. It's a really so far it looks really good quality and it looks really discreet. You can't tell that it's a hair extension, I'm sure, but I have not put them in my hair yet, so we will find out. So the blonde ones, which are the new skin ones that they sent me, are 22 inches and 120 grams, and the packs of brown are the light cool brown, and they are 20 inches long and they're 200 grams. So, uh, I do have a very tiny head, by the way. I'm gonna count how many extensions that I end up putting in my hair, and uh, I'll show you guys what I have left over. <coughs> I'm dying. Are you eating pizza? I'm eating pizza and I'm dying. Oh, enjoy your pizza. I actually have some old extensions from VP Fashion that I've worn in the past. There weren't enough for me to make a full head of hair again, so I had to get a new set anyways. But I wanted to integrate some of these into it because they are layered. They are shorter than the rest of the extensions. It's really important when you're wearing extensions to have some pieces that are different lengths in between because if you have just one length and one length, it's going to look weird, obviously. The nice thing about VP Fashion, though, is that they're naturally tapered really well, so uh, most of the time I barely have to do any work at all. I'm just going to show you this really quick clip of how I cut the extensions to layer them a little bit before I put them in my hair. Also, so I colored these extensions. I mixed together um, a formula of like a bunch of colors I had to create a dark brown semi-permanent color out of Arctic Fox hair color. Basically, the formula consists of Transylvania. So that one is the black with a blue base to it. And then sunset orange. So you add the sunset orange into the black and the orange cancels out the blue in it but also dilutes it. And if you want it a little bit lighter you can add some yellow in there. But if you add too much yellow you can add a little tiny drop of violet. So it's it's all about color correction really. Um, I didn't want to show exactly how I mixed it because it was me mixing every single bottle of color that I own. <laughs> the other side is just um, a really muted down formula of different purples that I had. Also foiled my own hair during quarantine. If you notice the color is a little bit lighter here and a little bit darker here, it's because up here it was too warm. So um, about two days ago I foiled three more foils so that it would get brighter up there and it wouldn't be so orange. 
And on the ends it looks darker because I recently recolored it and if you know anything about porous dead hair, it soaks up color like a sponge but then it also spits it out every time you get it wet. So I know that while this color is too dark right now to match, it will match perfectly after like two washes. Also wanted to mention that I have a discount code for VP Fashion. Please don't forget that if you're ever going to buy anything from VP anything from VP Fashion, you can use my discount code jellyfish for $10 off, I think. Okay, let's get started. Because I cut the extensions prior, I sorted through them and put the longest at the bottom and the shortest towards the top and front. This ensures the appearance of layers. It also relieves weight around the top where I need volume. I also like to save the tape part from old extensions that I had to throw away. I cut the hair part off at my salon and we actually donate all the human hair that we cut off people's heads to our recycling service called Green Circle Salons. They use the human hair we collect to clean up oil spills and also create pellets to make new bags with. Look up Green Circle Salons if you're interested. If you can't come to my salon, I at least recommend you go to the closest Green Circle Salon in your area. I like to put the saved tapes on the back of the topmost extensions because it also relieves some weight, and in my opinion, it's easier to detangle when there's less hair bunched together. But most single-sided tapes actually peel a lot, and I feel like something thicker and sturdier does better, which is why I saved the, uh, the top of all of my old extensions. So the best way I can describe how I applied these was I used the mirror and also my finger to guide where I needed to place the tape. I had to make sure I was placing the tape exactly horizontal to the section of my hair and uh, pressing it close enough to the scalp where it's not dangling from my head, but also not too close to the scalp where it will stick to the scalp and actually be really painful later on. After you place the tape where it needs to go, press it down for a few seconds to make sure that all the adhesive is really stuck to the hair. Then you can pick it up and using any kind of a separating tool, like a rat tail comb, I sectioned off the bottom and removed any loose hairs that were slightly dangling from the adhesive and sandwiched another adhesive tape against the bottom so that a thin slice of my real hair is in between both sections of tape. In the beginning, this was really hard because it was the back of my head and I hadn't done this on myself before. It was also a little bit harder for me, I believe, because I was trained how to do it professionally on other people, so I know exactly what it's supposed to look like, but imagining on the back of my head how to do it, I just didn't want to mess up, so it was just more of an intense process. By the time I got closer to the top of the head, I was able to feel around a lot better and I could relax a bit more and see everything because it was closer to the light source and it was just quicker because I had been doing it for longer. If I had the choice I'd probably have my coworkers help me out on the regular but because this is quarantine um, I didn't have many choices. All of the extensions that I put in my hair towards the front of my face, like above my ears, were all cut in half and sandwiched together to be shorter because it's easier for me to maneuver my hair around in the front of my face if they aren't such full, thick tapes. So uh, that was a lot easier for me and I definitely recommend it if you have finer hair and you like to touch your hair a lot. So this is the final result. I did not do anything to them. I literally just let them air dry and they look like this. So this is actually two days after I installed them. I just wanted to kind of wear them a bit. I didn't wash them. What I like to do, I don't know if this really helps, but I like to not get them wet, not wash them, not condition them, not do anything with them about like 72 hours after applying because I like to think that it the adhesive just sets better when it doesn't get wet right away. Um, so I kind of just waited and I let them get really tangled up because I slept on them and stuff. But what I realized is that I can actually just twist braid them or braid them normally. I don't really, I'm not good at braiding, but if I just 
twist them like you know a per more perfect version of that and then tie them at the bottom that they just don't get tangled up and then they end up looking really pretty in the morning I wanted to show you the natural curl though so check them out <laughs> so yeah I love them because they're just kinda like naturally tapered um, and they have layers in them naturally because of the way I cut them earlier before I put them on my head. I have not cut them at all since I've installed them, so they just naturally kind of blended perfectly. It did take me so long to put them in though, uh, just because I've never done it before. I don't think it's going to take me any less amount of time if I try it again, but it's just because like it's so hard to stick a sticker on the back of your head. I also decided that I really do love these. Uh, skin the new skin wefts because you really just can't see them as much as the other ones like if you look at these you just kind of see the band right away and it just obviously doesn't look like hair the only thing about these is like you know if you put them on top of your brown roots because my my roots are already grown out like a few centimeters so I put that right on top of the line and you can literally just see it because it's on top of brown but other than that they're just, they're like really discreet. Like you can't tell there's a band there. You can't tell there's like, there's no other texture to it. So it's so natural looking. Um, they're also really natural feeling. Like they're not any thicker or any bulkier. They're not itchier or heavier at all. There's no negatives to them other than the fact that they're just more expensive because they're more subtle looking. I definitely recommend them if you're the type of person that likes to put your hair up because when you put your hair up you can see all those little bands in the hair anyways and I, I hate that about my hair when I put it up but my hair is really thin and sparse so you can just see the tape through it I guess. So I definitely think that these new skin wefts are worth it. I think that they're gonna change the industry a little bit if they just like keep on selling well and every Everyone starts to realize how awesome they are because other brands are gonna be like, oh my god, like we don't have something this cool. They're so like new looking. I'm here. so texting your dad right now, not listening to you. Okay, how I, do you want your I burger? Can my you burger? I like here. a good juicy burger with a little burger. I love pickles. Because I didn't need them. It's so dumb when they stack two burgers on top of each other. Can I have a um, an impossible burger? I just don't want to eat a cow. Can I have a veggie burger? Like, That's no, I just, I don't want to eat a cow. Do you know how many cows are being consumed in this house tonight? No matter what, there has to be a pickle involved. Okay. Tomato, regular tomatoes. Hot sauce, grilled mushrooms, grilled jalapenos. <sighs> none of that, peppers. none of that, I'm done. I just don't want anything else. you see how hard that was? Huh? I don't want anything else. <laughs> that was so hard. That was so hard. <laughs> why does, why does a burger have to be that complicated? I just give me a salad if you're gonna throw that much shit in it. A milkshake with a coffee milkshake. I don't need a coffee milkshake, it's like 7 p.m. What about just a side of whipped cream? No, that's pure cow. I forgot to count them. I did not count how many extensions are in my hair. And okay, so okay, okay, let's do this. We're doing this. We're counting them. Forty-two, approximately forty-two extension pieces in my hair. <laughs> 42 extensions. That's really not a lot of extensions. It's all because I have some that are single-sided in there. If you were doing all back-to-back, -back, there would probably be up to 50, especially if you have a bigger head and more hair than me. Um, and you want it maybe fuller, I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching this BP Fashion video. Love you guys so much. Please use my discount code if you're ever gonna buy anything from VP Fashion. And um, I love you guys so much. Thanks, thanks. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Stay epic.